Welcome and thank you for joining us for tonight's Our Daily Bread Evening Meditation. God has given you this moment to slow down and be still before Him. Close your eyes and let your head gently sink into your pillow. He is here to receive you, just as you are. As we begin this reflective time, Try to get as comfortable as possible. Take some deep, calming breaths. Let go of today as you come to know the presence and peace of your Heavenly Father. He is the creator and sustainer of all things, and He cares for each one of us. He has made us in His image, that we might reflect His glory. Heavenly Father, I commit myself into your hands afresh tonight. I release my worries and cares into your hands. I praise you for your goodness, your majesty, and your love. You are the ultimate power in the universe, and yet you live inside frail humans like me who put their faith in you. Will you illuminate the darkness in my heart tonight? Bring your light to my spirit as I listen to your word. The psalmist says in Psalm 8, 4-9, What is mankind that you are mindful of them, human beings, that you care for them. You have made them a little lower than the angels and crowned them with glory and honor. You made them rulers over the works of your hands. You put everything under their feet, all flocks and herds, and the animals of the wild, the birds in the sky, and the fish in the sea, all that swim the paths of the seas. Lord, our Lord, how majestic is your name in all the earth. Psalm 8 was written by King David about 3,000 years ago, enthralled by the boundless power and majesty of God. He asks an obvious question. How can this transcendent sovereign God actually care about tiny, insignificant humans. And the Lord doesn't just care, He actually honours us above everything else on earth. He gives us authority over nature and animals, including, He says, all the fish that swim in the paths of the sea. Little did David know that thousands of years later, Naval officer Matthew Morey, nicknamed the father of oceanography, would use this line of Psalm 8 to inspire his discovery of the Earth's ocean currents. Morey knew that God must have inspired David's mind with that tiny detail that only the Creator would know. Tonight, stand in awe of the glorious God of creation, who wove his wisdom into this beautiful world and glorified humanity, his highest creation, with the honor of knowing him personally. As we turn to prayer, Consciously relax every part of your body, starting at your feet and working your way up. When you get to your eyes, imagine you can see inside your mind. Switch off any distracting thoughts and close the door on tomorrow's to-do list. Come now 
into the sanctuary of your heart where the Lord is waiting to hear your prayers. Breathe deeply with long, slow exhales. Breathe in. And out. Let's pray. Mighty God, how incredible that you, who created ocean currents and the creatures who swim in them, care about the tiny details of my life. What a wonder to think that I am communicating with the very creator of the stars. You are mysterious and wonderful. Thank you for knowing and loving me. Lord, how could I withhold any part of my life from such a powerful, majestic, loving and kind God? I entrust myself fully to you tonight. The psalmist says in Psalm 8.1, Lord, our Lord, how majestic is your name in all the earth. Let's close with a final prayer. Heavenly Father, as I go to sleep tonight, please, will you impress the truth of your love and knowledge deeply in my heart. May my sleep be peaceful, and may I awake tomorrow with a new sense of awe at the amazing privilege of being a child of God. Amen.